Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly community update vlog and it is so awesome to see you guys. Oh my gosh, it has been a really, really, really busy week. I don't know about you guys, but like that rush of Thanksgiving and just being able to like have the first taste of the holidays come in and to see everybody who was like on break really excited and like watching all of the stuff we had out and then to hear about all of your amazing like Thanksgivings or just your next day if you weren't celebrating and just to see everybody really start going all right thanksgiving's over i don't know about you but like in my family like once thanksgiving is over then that's the time where it's finally time to get excited for christmas and you may notice we have a christmas tree and it's huge it's like two feet taller than me i think it's like a seven and a half eight foot christmas tree and i'm only five five so <laughs> yeah it's a lot bigger than me and i actually got um some video we went and we got it from a christmas tree farm so that's how this week has been like thanksgiving ended and then it was like okay that was awesome now it's time for christmas and christmas is kind of a big deal in darling's family and darling loves christmas and he has the most awesome christmas sweater with like dinosaurs and little like santa hats that i got him and it's really cool and yeah and you guys are excited for the holidays and it's already december how did that happen been. Like the year has gone by. The whole year has gone by so fast and so much has happened this year. We have grown so much as a community this year. I can't believe we've gone from like 10,000 to like 35,000 community members and so many new series and new things happening and we moved worlds and like zoo crafting. I don't know. We'll have maybe maybe I'll do some sort of like cool little reflections vlog thinking back from the year that we had. So maybe that'll be something I do at the end of the year. I tend to do that like um at the beginning of the year personally I'll like go back and I'll be like what happened over the last year and then I'll do it again in a couple months like in February when it's Chinese New Year because I'm like okay now I'm really gonna make my New Year's resolutions I have a second chance here and I'm gonna get it right so who knows maybe we'll have some fun little like chatter vlogs about that and I've been thinking about bringing the little vlog channel back uh on its feet dusting it off tucking away old things bringing in new things just because it's so fun just to talk with you guys and as we're getting bigger there's starting to be that subset where we have things like this our awesome community weekly vlogs where we can kind of have that relationship between you guys and I have been meaning to go back and answer like everyone's comments in those it's just been really busy I am a little bit worn out so I kind of need to I might need to pace things a little bit differently soon oh goodness but yeah the Christmas trees here I do have some fun vlog footage I hope to share with you guys about going to the Christmas tree farm and picking it out and um, we actually got a pre-cut one I thought we were gonna like stomp all the way back into the back of, like woods and pick out a tree that was still in the ground and be like yeah this is gonna be our Christmas tree and then let's shape it and like put it in a little container and on top of the car but we actually found a really I mean, a nice Christmas tree we found a nice one it was already cut and shaped and everything and we're like you know what this is it this is our tree. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that later. Um, I was going to show you it for Exhibition Sunday today, but then like this morning we had that flock of seagulls outside and I got too excited. I was like, I have to show everybody this big flock of seagulls and anhingas that showed up. But enough babble. Okay, so community updates and channel news. It has been a really busy, 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 busy week, like I said. Um, I've been putting out a lot of content. My voice might sound a little bit odd because I'm going to have to rest it a little bit today. I've kind of been pushing it a little too hard with recording for hours and hours every day. And sometimes it hits this point where I just have to like take a bit of a break or only do like a couple episodes a day because my voice can't keep up. So that might be happening soon. I have my, my beautiful cup that everyone is really excited about. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. It's like, yay, here's the cup everyone talks about every week. Here it is. Looks beautiful. I, I bet you I got it from the dollar store or something. I have no idea. Good cup. It's a good cup. But I have my little cup of tea, drinking lots of tea. If you talk a lot, teach, and you're like up in front of people talking for hours every day, then you know how important it is to keep warm. Like water, tea, um... I have some throat coat, which tastes horrible, but it's good for your throat when you talk a lot over in the kitchen that I could drink. This is peach tea, because I love peach. Peaches, peaches come here. So yeah, you might you might see videos get a little bit lighter for just a, a moment or two over the next couple days, just because my voice is giving out, and I can't really do anything about that <laughs> other than rest it, which is, ugh, I have so many adventures I want to tell you guys, but oh well, we'll have time. Yeah, speaking of those adventures, so I have my little trusty list here so I can keep up with everything. We have been doing um, Daily Wolf Quest, which I didn't plan on doing. The event thing is so much fun. I really love the events, like 
like idea, the idea of like doing an announcement video about the event that we're gonna have, or maybe a voting video about it, and then like shifting into the special event. And I've been thinking with whatever kind of events we do, if it's gonna be with Spore, if it's gonna be with um, like zoo crafting, I might start doing special thumbnails. So it just like has an icon or something on it. So you know, hey, this is part of like the Rise of the Wolves event for Wolf Quest. Hey, this is part of like the Fang Nights for Spore. Hey, this is part of like, I don't know, the zoo crafting bird week or something like that. So I might start doing special thumbnails. And then I was thinking of doing like a little closing video where we could just review what happened. So I'm really excited about the idea of not only celebrating holidays and animal holidays, which is something I want to start doing more of on our channel because there's like a holiday for every animal out there. It's really cool. But um, also doing like special events that we just make up on our own. And I think that really defines a lot of our community personality and spirit. And I love hearing what you guys are into. And speaking of um, one of those special events, well, I'll get to some more in a second. On Wolf Quest, the support on WolfQuest has been through the roof. I am just blown away. So thank you guys so much. If you're a WolfQuest lover, thank you. I really was thinking we would just do our daily series and then we would kind of finish up the litter and maybe we'll have a, a second and third litter in the future. And the support on WolfQuest is just so immense. And now that I have figured out how to unlock the achievements and the missions that you can do in the game, that I'm probably going to keep doing daily wolf quest because believe it or not, wolf quest is outpacing zoo crafting as in views. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> and don't worry, that's never going to threaten zoo crafting because zoo crafting is my way of trying to do good in the world, of trying to share like a little bit of happiness. And if I'm lucky and I worked hard for the day, maybe some facts about the natural world, trying to really bring to life a world that we all can share. And for me, going into the zoo crafting world is like kind of going home in a way, every day jumping in. Some days I want to build something really big. Some days I want to make a banana pie <laughs> and just have fun doing that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's zoo crafting is a daily thing and it is here not so much for the views but because of what it represents from my hopes and dreams for what I can do in the world and for the way that it is one of the bigger driving forces that has united so many of us and that's precious to me and I'm really hoping moving into season three I can start adding in NPCs again and now that I know how to use like your Minecraft username so you could just wander around as a guest be able to like do random drawings where you could like you know, randomly get your name picked and then you can wander around as a guest in the zoo for a while and I'll change the names out now and then so that it'll stay fresh. Um, so, you know, just doing things to really bring the world to life is my goal for season three. And I'm also trying to work with um, a few people to see if we can get some custom models done. I don't want to say too much about that, but just to let you know that I am so invested in zoo crafting and trying to teach you guys about the wonders of the world that we have through that series that yes, I am looking into finding ways to add in animals that don't exist in Minecraft right now and putting them in the game because I want to have them there to share with you. <laughs> so that is something that I'm hopefully going to be seeing progress in and working on um, because it's, it's a serious deal to me to be able to teach you guys. Yeah, right guys? I mean, we have our Goldian Finches in, like, Minecraft now, and they weren't in Minecraft last year. Pavo was amazing and added him in because I love my Finches, and that's fantastic. So, yeah, we're really dedicated to do crafting, so don't worry. There's still, it's still going to be around. Uh, some days, like today, I was really just kind of bird brain this morning so today's episode of zoo crafting i'm blushing just thinking about it and then there was some weird lag on the server that's thankfully cleared up by now um yeah it was a little bit weird so as a daily series some days you know we'll be really on point we'll be like yeah the whole time we're telling you about like the natural history of the world and telling you about nature and some days it's gonna be banana pie silliness so i just hope you guys are, are like okay with that but yeah, that's going good. Daily Wolf Quest. I'm not sure how long Wolf Quest will be daily, because, like, you can only do so much in Wolf Quest, in my opinion. But with the missions, 
we might just keep going and really wolf quest people don't seem to mind that wolf quest is a little bit repetitive in some ways and uh, I don't mean that to insult the game just it's kind of limited in the scope of what you do it's very you have a start a clear start and a clear finish and you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want and things change a little bit but it's not open sandbox world and that's what I'm used to playing with so like Minecraft so we'll keep going with Wolf Quest as long as there's support with it because um, it's one of those interesting synergy things that happens with our channel where I like people get really into a game and at first I'm like I'm not sure but yeah I'm gonna give it a try I just want to go in keep my mind open see what I can enjoy and then I end up loving it like I was really really blown away shocked how much I enjoyed Jurassic World and Jurassic Park Builder because they did not look like my kinds of games and it kind of got me into wanting to learn more about dinosaurs and that's what happens when your guys curiosity feeds in to the whole like relationship that we have and you have with the other community members and the other viewers and it all builds up that's what you do with curiosity is you really ignite it and you turn it into a passion and then like it catches on and other people and it grows and you change someone's view of the world through just being passionate about what you love and what you're curious about that's what the whole channel the pixel biology community is about and i love that so now i'm like more into dinos and horses and wolves than i was before i like them but I wasn't like passionate about wanting to learn about them and I'm starting to get there with a lot of those species because of you guys <laughs> so it's really fun that way um, and I hope I've given you guys some of that passion from the things that I care about so that's one of the cool things about our community and why I don't mind daily wolf quest because it is the more I play the more I'm really getting into it you know what I mean and on that note um let's see we are still looking at arc and there might be something really cool happening with Ark, so I'll have to see whether or not he actually meant that he'd play with me or not, because if Darling meant that he'd play with me, that'd be really cool. But we'll have to see if that happens or not. Uh, other things, the big event, the big event. We have two more days, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday is going to be the day. I am so excited, and I know that this is going to kind of be a bit of a silly thing to be excited about, because our Sims fans and our Sims like viewers are much, 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 much smaller population of the Puso biology community than like the wolf and horse and dino people. And that just goes to show like, you gotta be passionate about what you're passionate about. And I'm gonna be really passionate about Sims 4 get together coming out. So hopefully later today, I'm gonna be working on building those little bio videos to kind of just give you guys an idea of who Ash and Holly, the two Sims that we are going to be using for the get together event, which last week you guys had some pretty good suggestions and someone suggested like the get partying, get together event as the name of the event and get partying just like stuck in my head because I, I love like Just Dance. I just discovered Just Dance last month and I am totally in love with it. And there's like so many new dancing things you can do and get together and the DJ skill, which I think is perfect for Holly. And so I think we're gonna call it like Get Partying, Get Together event or something like that. So I'm gonna try to put those together and hopefully we can just have, and they might be kind of lame introduction videos because it'll be the first time I would try doing something like that. But hopefully we will have the like get party and get together event. I'm thinking of releasing at least two videos, maybe like um double double dip or like I don't know. We'll do we'll do probably two videos of it a day at least for a week and then peter off to normal normal Sims 4 schedule. But yeah, it's gonna be really fun and I'll have a video out asking you guys um, hopefully later today what you want to see and get together so that I can look through all those comments and we can try to focus on those things and our let's play when we dive in with Ash and Holly. So I'm really excited about that event, just like I was talking about earlier, the events that our community are going to make just special for ourselves. So that's coming up and I'm really excited about it, even if maybe the population of people who would be like, yeah, get together is a little bit smaller than the people who would be like, yeah, Daily Wolf Quest, that's fine. The point is we're all having a wonderful time and that's what I love. So let's see, and speaking of a wonderful time, Spore is well loved and I am having a fantastic time playing Spore. I've never had so much fun with it. I think it's because Peapod, my wonderful new computer, can play Spore at levels like graphically that I didn't know the game was made to do. It's an old game. I think it's almost 10 years old, possibly. It's really old. So yeah, Spore is totally awesome. I love it. Um, I'm loving Creature Stage. I love that I finally got the cute and creepy stuff back to work. Um, and we're going to continue with that. So I might start making it more often, but we'll have to see because we have so much going on. Twin Bark Town is wearing me out a little bit just because 
The role play part is so hard for me to get into the habit of writing because we have so much every week. So I am busy, 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 busy. And all of a sudden it's Friday night and Twin Mark Town's due Saturday. And I'm like, I haven't even written anything yet. And it's like, ah, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna keep it to once a week just until I can really get better at having it like written and prepared before it's due because we do a lot of videos and we put out nearly 40 videos a week most weeks. Usually we easily go past 100 videos a month and so some days it's just really hard for me to do something like Twinbark Town that takes about three to seven hours of time to make um, and that's too long right now. I know that's too long so it's just getting used to it and doing it more often and I really do want to get better at it. And because I have other ideas for like the fantasy Minecraft roleplay series, a couple of other secret Minecraft roleplay series I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to spoil the surprise because it'd be really amazing if I can pull it off. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a couple of the ones that I have planned. Um, and then, yeah, just you guys love Twin Park and I love being able to use it as an avenue, right guys? I mean, tell me about it as an avenue to share your guys' pet stories in. So a lot of people have been sending in their pictures to my email, which is the best, because it's easy to track in my emails, uh, or Twitter, or Facebook, so that their pets can go in as successful adoptions for the future, and that is making so many ideas just spark up, and I'm having a great time with that. And in the future with Twinbark, what I hope to do is do like active animal rescues, where we'll like go somewhere and like rescue the, the abandoned puppy from like the middle of the city, or like get the turtle out of the middle of the highway, and things like that. So it'll be fun um, and to see the town grow and to have more personalities and people start showing up um, just and let me know what you like about Twin Bark Town too because it's so much of an experimental thing for me it's not like I want to like specifically pander to what people want to see it's just learning how to make it a good series because it's the very first role play series I've ever tried to make before so it's fun it's fun to learn new skills and to challenge yourself like that though so that's Twinbark Town. It's developing very well. Uh, we have our Christmas tree. I love my list. I, there's so many things all the time. So many things. Abundance of awesomeness. It just helps to have a list. It really does. Um, oh, and Dog Sled Saga. I'm having so much fun. I have been saving Dog, sl dog Sled Saga since I saw Stacy Plays play it last year for winter. Because I was like, that would be a really great game to play in December to kind of get into the winter fill. And oh my gosh, it totally is. I just played it for one episode last night. And I'm already in love with it. I love pixel games. I love detail. I love animals. And it's kind of all mushed together with mush. Ha <laughs> ha, mush. Do you get it? I guess it's about Dog Sled Saga. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm having a great time with it. Um, so hopefully there'll be a lot more of that. And I'm not really sticking to a strict schedule about when and where you can find things anymore. Usually you can still find things out on like the same day I say they're going to be out. But on times, I've become a lot more lenient over the last month. And actually, it's been really good for my health. Because then I get enough sleep when I need sleep. I eat when I need to eat. I'm not like, I only have 20 more minutes to finish this before it's due. Or if people are going to be mad. And I've kind of, kind of let that slide lately. And I hope that's okay. But it's made my life so much less stressful. Just to be like, yeah, you can expect horse havens on Mondays and Thursdays. And um, usually, too. If it's not a patoot, it'll be up eventually. And it's not to seem lazy that way it's just when you do like hours of recording every single day sometimes life has other plans and it's helped me a lot just to be a little bit more relaxed about what time you see things so this isn't to say like you won't see things at the usual times you're used to just if you don't see something don't panic check my twitter and just know that i'm kind of easing up on specific times to release things for myself and it's been really helpful <laughs> so there's that um, and then yeah, there's still a lot of things in the works and the plans. I've been working a lot on Twin Bark Town in the background, saving up probably close to a hundred pictures of your guys' animals and pets and their little pet stories so far. So that's really fun. We're going to have plenty to have successfully adopted out in the future of those episodes. Um, it's been really fun to add people's skins in randomly. Some of them show up, some of them don't. Some of them definitely aren't casual wear, so I can't show them. Some of them fit perfectly, and it's been really fun just to throw people in randomly. So you can watch the episode and be like, oh, there's my character. I see my Minecraft character right there. So it's really cool to be able to do that. 
Um, and yeah, there's other things that I still have in the plans. Zubites, Sims 2, Star Stable, Ark, Sims Free Play. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on, as always, and it's fun, and it's amazing. And uh, we're also, I'm hoping I can go see the Extreme Mammals exhibit, which is touring at our Natural Science Museum, and do some, like, maybe a, a adventure vlog series, or maybe, like, some specific exhibition Sundays, specimen Saturdays, that will focus on that, because we have a lot of really awesome museums around here, and I would love to be able to, like, highlight and feature some of the things they show. And Darling and I are hoping, and this might make some of you guys freak out in excitement, but I'm hoping that I can save up and plan, and maybe sometime in February, March, or April, maybe when the weather gets a little bit better, depending on when it's appropriate to go visit, I could visit one of the Red Wolf sanctuaries that are here in North Carolina, because there's a few of them. And I think if I contact them and ask if I could go and interview them, maybe get some videos about the animals that live there, about their cause, um, about like from the mouth of experts, the value of red wolves in our community, uh, I'd be able to go and interview them and spend time with them and see the red wolves in person and get lots of video of them. And when that happens, I might do a very special sort of event. We might really kind of celebrate it all over the place to be like, yay, red wolves. Um, but those are the kinds of things I really want to see in the future of what we do here. So it is about games and fun and dog sled saga and arc and those kinds of things. And it's about community fun with sims and stories and bringing people into the stories. And it's about education. And there's never a time we're learning more about the world and our place in it and how to be more active in taking care of it is is not right for someone. You can never be old enough for that. You can never be young enough for that. Um, you can never have enough of it, in my opinion. <laughs> so that's what I love about our community. And as always, this is this is the this is the vlog. This is the little time where if you guys have any suggestions for games, if you have any thoughts or comments on current series, ideas for future events, if you have um, anywhere that you would really like to maybe see that you know is in North Carolina. It's like a natural pretty place that you, you're like, hey Siri, do you think you want to visit over there? Any of those things, or just if you're having a nice day, let me know, let me know. And I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I'm going to drink my tea before it gets too much colder. And I really look forward to seeing you guys later for those Sims 4 little sneak peeks and hopefully for some good spore tonight. I know spore is another thing I'm going to work on soon. So hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>